Sanjeev Chopra, uh, Food Secretary joins us. So many thanks to speaking to us, uh, ET now. And my first question would be to improve the financial viability of the FPS, the fair price shop. A couple of steps have been taken and a few more are in pipeline. Uh, can you share some details on the same? So to improve the margins of the fair price shops, uh, recently the government of India had decided that we will increase their uh, margins to from in uh, general category state from 90 rupees per quintal. Uh, and uh, from uh, in, in the special category states uh, to 180 rupees per quintal. So those margins were enhanced from the uh, earlier ones to ensure that they have a greater, um, uh, let's say, uh, margin available for their operations. Uh, but coupled with that, we are aware that uh, these organizations, the fair price shops, the ration shops, are not operating uh, across the month, through the month, and uh, as a result of which they have a limited operation for a few days when the distribution happens. Hmm. Now, in order to ensure that they are uh, becoming a more vibrant and a, uh, financially viable organization, uh, we have uh, called this particular conference to ensure that uh, we have uh, deliberations with the various stakeholders like the Common Service Center, the uh, Indian Bank Association, the uh, postal banks, uh, so that uh, the F FPSs can tie up hmm. with these organizations to give uh, and deliver more uh, B2C and G2C services in the rural areas. Hmm. As a result of it, they'll also get some margin, and in the process, the uh, people in the rural areas, they'll also benefit because they'll get services at their doorstep. Okay. So uh, we are hopeful that this tie-up, which will gain pace in the coming months, mm -hmm. uh, right now almost 60,000 of these fair price shops are having a tie-up with the Common Service Center. Mm -hmm. So this will gain pace in the coming few months, and we are hopeful that this will ensure that the <coughs> fair price shop become more financially viable, mm -hmm. And that will improve the uh, functioning and also the services that they offer to the customers. So you are aiming to increase the scope of these FPS. Uh, can you enlighten that uh, apart from the uh, agencies or the department, what all services could be added on like FMCG products if they can be allowed to sell? So already the uh, uh, advisory is there that the uh, state governments uh, who are licensing these uh, fair price shops, they are uh, authorizing and they are allowing these fair price shops to stock uh, uh, goods other than the uh, essential commodities through the PDS mm -hmm. and that obviously will ensure that they will function uh, around the uh, around the month okay. and also they will get better margins. Okay. My last question will be related to wheat. Uh, the prices have cooled down a bit uh, because of the steps taken uh, by the central government. would like to understand that what the stats currently speaks about. Are you in a comfortable position? What the projection says? Uh, overall what, what the dynamics are? So with regard to the procurement uh, anticipated during the uh, coming procurement season for wheat, we are having a meeting on the 1st of March with okay. the states and uh, we would firm up our uh, procurement targets in that meeting. But uh, uh, speaking from the production point of view, as you are aware, the uh, advanced estimates uh, look very positive and we are expecting uh, production of almost 113 uh, million tons. Mm. So that's a, uh, that's a uh, good development. Mm. Uh, with regard to the prices, the ca they have come down after the open market uh, sales that the government announced. Mm. Uh, first round of auction was, hap was ha happened about two weeks back. The mm. second uh, round of auction is happening mm. uh, as we speak. Mm. So we are hopeful that uh, with the, these measures that the central government has taken, the prices should cool down and bring some cheer to the customers and, and the consumers. And the sugar export, uh, some, some more reluction? Uh, uh, sugar reluction. production, we are monitoring the situation. Uh, there were some adverse weather conditions in some parts of the country as a result of which we are getting some reports of some uh, reduced uh, production uh, in this year. And based on what we get, uh, a firm indication uh, regarding production, then further call regarding exports will be taken at due course. Well, thanks for speaking to us. With camera person Dilip, this is Samir Dixit for 18 now.